and welcome, welcome. So happy Saturday, everybody. It is so amazing to see all of, your, um, all of you guys here today. Uh, my name is Amy Sullivan with Aspire Zen. I'm a yoga teacher. I'm also a, a health and nutrition coach. And I thought today, since it's almost the winter solstice, that we would take um, this opportunity to celebrate that, both with our poses as well as um, our opening breath. And this, the solstice happens twice a year. And if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, which is where I am, um, winter solstice is the 21st of December. It is also the shortest day of the year. And so if we think about the concept of that, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty dark that day because it's the shortest amount of sunlight. So it's an opportunity for our bodies to really focus in on grounding down, coming in. It's also the end of the year. Um, so we, that gets into that same energy of, hey, you know, reflecting, thinking about the year that just passed. Um, and what's neat about, you know, solstice means darkest day, but that means the next day starts to bring us into those longer periods of sunlight as we bring, come into the new year. So it's kind of a, a dance of duality, if you will, where we're going into the darkness and coming out into the light. So that's what we're going to focus on a little bit. And I know holiday season can get a little bit ah, crazy. So we're also going to ground down so that you're coming from a place of stability and calm. And despite whatever's going on around you, you have a nice basis to feel settled and grounded in all that you do. And so this morning, you may want, you never need props, but if you were going to use some props today, I would recommend possibly a block and possibly a cushion as well. Um, but if you don't have them, you don't need them. I'm going to show you excuse me, alternatives for those. And today we will begin our journey in hero's pose, which is a virasana. Um, I, that's your, your, your booty, your bum between your ankles. So it looks like this from the side. This is a little deep on the thighs and knees. So that's why I recommend a nice cushion or a block to sit on. That's going to give you a rest um, or a, a calming for that part of your body. So we're trying to open through the front of your thighs and your knees <clears throat> and also give you the ability to elongate your spine. If you have a cushion, you can use that too. If none of that feels good to you, don't stress about it. Find a nice, easy cross-legged pose. That's good too. I'm going to switch our music. There we go. <clears throat> and now from your virasana, your hero's pose, take just a moment here. <clears throat> Maybe close your eyes or shift your gaze just downward, down towards your chest down towards your heart, root down through your sit bones, lengthen through your spine, allow your hands to rest down on your lap, and just take a moment to settle in, to arrive here at your yoga practice on your mat. Start to feel your body connecting in to the space And now start to travel your awareness up to the top of your head, up to your crown, so right above your head. Just shift your focus in that space. If you imagine a little ball of light resting above your head. And as you take your next deep inhale, imagine that little ball of light, that awareness is traveling down through your head, through your throat, down your spine traveling through your heart, still inhaling, all the way down to your sacrum, down to your tailbone. Nice big inhale. Now as you exhale, send that awareness, that ball of light back up through your spine, through your heart, all the way up through your head, up to the top of your head, the crown of your head. That's your exhale. Nice deep inhale again. Send that ball of light down through your body, through your heart down all the way to your root chakra, to your sacrum. And exhale, send that ball of light right back up, traveling up through your spine, up to the crown of your head. Let's do that one more time. Inhale here, nice deep belly breath. Send that ball of light down through your body, all the way down So you fill up with nice fresh air. And then exhale, send that ball of light back up through your heart, through your throat, through your spine, all the way up to your crown. 
Let's do that one last time. Inhale, send that awareness, that light down your body. And exhale, send it back up through your spine all the way to the tip top crown of your head. And now shift your focus, your breath, to your yogic breath, your ujjayi. Seal your lips together and start to breathe evenly in and out through your nose. As you breathe in and out, allow for a gentle constriction in the back of your throat. It's almost as though an ocean wave is crashing as you breathe in and out. This breath will build heat and focus. And you're welcome to use it throughout class or release it anytime you want. And flutter your eyes gently open if they were closed. Coming forward. And we're going to shift our seat into butterfly pose. So gently lift yourself up from your hero's pose, your virasana. If you were sitting on a block or a cushion or otherwise, move that out of your way. Shift onto your hip side of choice here. And then come together so that your feet are together. Soles of your feet are touching. Your knees are spreading outward. So I'm gonna make butterfly pose. You may want to prop yourself up on a blanket or a cushion here if you're finding that your back is rounding a lot forward. Maybe just a little edge of a cushion, just under the edge of your bum. We're gonna get into the inner hips here. And it's okay if your knees are up high, that's just fine. Bring your hands down to your feet and maybe flutter your knees just a little bit like a little butterfly. Yes, beautiful. Just allowing a little opening through your inner groin, through your hips. Awakening into that inner butterfly. Beautiful job. And now bring your hands to the outsides of your knees. Press your knees together like you're closing a book. And we're gonna come into a cross-legged position. Option here, bring your left leg down below with your shin facing forward. Option to do regular cross-legged or go for a stacked log pose. So now your right foot, flex your right foot, is gonna stack your ankle on top of your knee and your knee comes resting on top of your lower ankle. So you look like your both shins are facing directly forward. This is a deep hip opener and we're early in class. So your knee may come up, this may not feel super open. Um, you're welcome to bring your knees closer together. You're also welcome to do just a cross-legged pose. So feel into what you need here. Then ground down through your sit bones to lengthen up through your spine. Flex both of your feet. And take a nice deep inhale here, fill your belly up with air. Send that breath into any of those tight nooks and crannies in your hips. And exhale it out. <sighs> Open mouth, exhale here. One more deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale, side out. <sighs> this time, inhale, lift your arms up as you breathe in. Exhale, twist towards your right knee, towards the top knee. Let your front arm rest on your top knee. Let your back arm come behind you. Press down into the mat with your back hand. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Root down through your sit bones. Exhale, deepen your twist just a little bit more. One more big inhale here. And as you exhale, come back to center. Nice release. Use your hands to guide your, knee, your top knee and your top ankle. Let them gently lift that leg up and out. And you might feel a little tightness, just kind of shake your booty, warm up your hips. We're gonna do the other side. So now your right shin or whatever shin you had on top will now be on bottom. Shin pace, facing forward and the other leg stacks on top. Or again, if this does not feel okay, cross-legged position is great. Just switch the crossing of your legs. Flex through both your feet, and you might notice one side feels different than the other. There might be more ease in one side than the other. It's pretty normal. No judgment, just recognize here. Ground down through your sit bones. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Fill your belly up with air. Exhale, nice deep side out. One more time, inhale, fill up your belly. 
Exhale, sigh it out. Add your arms this time. Inhale, raise your arms up nice and high. Grow tall through your spine. Exhale, twist to your left toward the top knee. Let your front hand come down onto the knee. Back hand down on the ground behind you or beside you. One more big inhale as you lengthen. Exhale, twist a little deeper. One back, last big inhale here. And gently exhale, unwind, untwist, come back to center. Use your hands once again on the top foot, top knee, gently lift, engage your abs, lean back a little bit to ease yourself out of that position. And then you're gonna come onto hands and knees for cat cow. And I'm gonna lose my socks so I don't slide all over the place. So cat cow, align your knees underneath your hips, your wrists underneath your shoulders making a little tabletop position here. Spread your fingers out nice and wide. Engage your abs in to protect your lower spine. And e, inhale, cow pose. Drop your belly down, shift your hips up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, shine your heart forward. Lift your chin up toward the sky. Breathe here, feel that lengthening through the front of your body. One more big inhale here, crack your heart open. Exhale, cat pose, tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin. Root down into your hands to press your spine up toward the ceiling. Feel that nice stretch of the back of your body, back of your shoulder blades. And now let's do a few of those breath to movement. Inhale, drop your belly down, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat pose. Inhale, come to neutral tabletop here. And extend and engage your abs back up in towards your spine. Stretch your right leg out towards the back. Keep your toes on the ground here. Flex through your right thigh. Feel that thigh lift off your, off your kneecap. Keep your foot flexed. Engage your abs in. Inhale, bird dog. Lift your right foot up into the air. Extend your left arm long if that feels good to you. Feel a nice stretch from your left fingertips through to the back heel that's lifted. Knit your abs in, lengthen, inhale. Exhale, crunch your knee to your elbow. Knit your abs in and press your spine up toward the ceiling. Let's flow with that, inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. One last time, extend out. Now bend your right knee, your lifted knee. Option to swing your left arm, your lifted arm around to grab onto that foot. And press that foot towards your bum. Shine your heart toward the left. A little tiger pose here. And if you can't reach that foot, don't worry. You can press, send your back knee down. Kick that foot in, maybe your hand grabs on. Or if you're still not reaching, that's okay. You can reach around, grab onto your bum, and twist your heart out toward the left. Wherever you are, wherever you are, one more big inhale here. And exhale, gently release, come back to tabletop here. And wiggle side to side for a moment. Just reset, recenter. Come back to your four corners here, your two hands, your two knees, grounding down. Engage your belly in, press down through your hands. And extend your left toes back, down to the back of the mat. Flex through your left heel, and feel your left thigh lift up off your kneecap. Knit your abs in, inhale bird dog, lift your left foot up high. Kick your heel toward the ceiling, and extend your right arm out. Your thumb comes toward the sky like you're shaking a hand. One more big inhale here as you lengthen from your heel tip to your fingertips. Exhale, elbow to knee. Crunch and lift your spine up. Think cat pose in your spine. Knit your abs in. Hold here for just a moment. And now let's flow that back and forth. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tuck and curl. One more time, inhale, extend. Exhale, tuck and curl. Inhale, extend, hold here. Bend your back knee. Perhaps your right arm comes around and grabs onto that foot. Pull your foot towards your bum as you kick into your hand, tiger pose. And shine your heart out toward the right. 
or perhaps you drop your back knee down. That feels a little bit more supportive this morning and focus on that opening through your heart. Or maybe you aren't grabbing onto your foot, you're putting your hand on your hip and you're twisting out. Wherever you are, one more big inhale. And then exhale, gently release. Bring your right hand back in line with your left hand. Find basic tabletop here. Beautiful job. Tuck your toes under, knit your abs in. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up into the sky. Walk your dog here. Bend one knee as you straighten the other. Warm up through your hamstrings, through the back of your legs. Root down evenly into your hands. Send weight into the ball mound of your pointer finger and your thumb to protect your wrists. Rotate your armpits toward one another to lengthen through your spine. Find stillness now in your down dog. Rotate your inner thighs toward the back of your space to spread your sit bones nice and wide. Inhale, come to the balls of your feet. Bend your knees slightly, look forward. Exhale, ragdoll pose. Take one giant step forward, another giant step forward. Make your way to the top of your mat. Bend your knees a lot here. Maybe you even rest your torso on your thighs. Option to grab onto opposite elbows. That feels good. Maybe you sway side to side. Option to play with bending and straightening your legs. Just feel into the back of your body. Allow a little release in your spine. Letting gravity assist you in decompressing your vertebrae. And then gently release your hands down to the mat if they're crossed. Root down through your feet. Tuck your tailbone under, roll up to standing nice and slow. Vertebrae by vertebrae. One bone at a time. And then roll your shoulders back and down. Lift your head up. Up we come to Tadasana. Beautiful job, good morning if you, or hello, happy Saturday. I know I realize it's not morning for all of you. Option to be hips, feet hips width apart for a little more stability this morning, or you can bring your big toes to touch. Wherever you are, lift your, just your toes up off the mat for just a moment. Feel now how you're pressing, you're rooting down into all four corners of your feet. Maintain that sensation. Drop your toes back down to the mat. And then inhale, mountain pose, lift your fingertips up high. Root down through your feet. Pause here. Spin your palms to face one another. Tuck your tailbone slightly under, lift up through your hip points. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge from your hips. Bend your knees as much as you need to as you bow forward. You're at the top of your mat here. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through your spine. Pause here. Rest your hands on your shins or maybe up on your thighs. Roll your shoulder blades down your back towards your tailbone. Parallel your torso to the mat. And press, root down into your feet to expand your sit bones wide and lengthen through your spine. Inhale here. Exhale, high plank. Plant your palms down. Step one foot back and then the other. Find your high plank, or maybe you drop to your knees. Find a low plank here. And get your abs in towards your spine. Press your hands into the mat to fire up your pecs, your chest muscles, and roll your inner thighs toward the ceiling. Inhale, come slightly forward. Exhale, lower halfway down. Bend your elbows in towards your body. Inhale, upward facing dog. Draw your hands back and your heart forward. Flip your feet over. Pause here for a moment. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and open through your heart. Press your feet into the mat to lift your thighs. One more big inhale here. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up. Pause here for a few breaths. Take a moment to recenter, reset. Feel the grounding down of your hands and your feet into the mat to lift the rest of your body up to make your triangle pose here. Inhale, come to the balls of your feet. Bend your knees slightly, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. We're gonna do that one more time. Breath to movement. Root down through your feet. Inhale, mountain pose. Lift your fingertips up high, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge from your hips, let your heart guide you down as you bow forward. 
Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, high plank to low plank. Plant, plant your palms, step back. Maybe you come to your knees, maybe you stay up, come slightly forward. Exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips. Two breaths here, reset, recenter. Inhale, come to the balls of your feet, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, step or hop. Those were our sun salutations. Many people for inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain, rise up. Many people for solstice will do that flow 108 times. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. We're just gonna do it the two and move on from here. It's a beautiful way to salute and welcome the sun, the lengthening of the days back into our lives. We are going to move on and get into our hips a little deeper. So inhale, lift your arms up, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, plant your palms, step your left foot all the way to the back of your mat. Drop your back knee down so you find a nice low lunge. And flip your toes to the top of your foot now on the mat. Bring your hands down to frame your front foot. And then using your hands to draw your body forward, drop your left hip down toward the mat. Find a nice deep bend through your front leg. So you should feel a nice stretch, a nice opening through the front of your left thigh, the back thigh there. Maybe you come back and forth just a little bit, just something or side to side, something that helps you awaken into that front hip. Beautiful. One more big inhale here. Nice big exhale, shift your hips slightly back. And inhale, low crescent. Keep your back knee down, lift your chest up. And actually bring your hands to hips to your hips for just a moment to find your base. So the tendency is to dump into your lower spine. Well, we wanna lengthen. So get there, tuck your tailbone under, lift your hip points up, knit your abs in. That's gonna create that length through your spine. Root down into the heel of your front foot and your back knee. Feel that little opening through your front hip and then arms come up, inhale here. Face your palms toward one another, look up between your hands. One more big inhale as you stretch and lengthen into your body. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, tilt slightly forward, hinge at your hips. Exhale, twist to your right towards your front knee. Your left elbow, your bottom elbow might hook itself down onto that knee. Pressing in to find a little twist here. Press your hands into one another to help propel your chest open into that twist just a little bit deeper. That looks beautiful. One more big inhale here. And as you exhale, low lunge, untwist, frame your front foot here. Once again, so we're back in that deep low lunge. From here, walk your left hand in toward the center of your mat and bring your right hand, the one that's in line with your bent knee, onto your thigh. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Come for, bring the crown of your head forward on your mat. Exhale, twist towards your bent knee. So we're just doing a deeper twist. Allow your back hip to drop down toward the mat. Allow the, th the hand on your thigh to press and propel that twist a little deeper. Perhaps you stay right here or maybe you bend your back leg and allow a little deeper thigh stretch. So bend the back foot, bring the right hand, the front hand around to grab that back foot. We just did this before, but now we're adding that back knee drop down. So this is twisted lizard pose. Once you've grabbed onto that back foot, roll your top shoulder back, open your heart toward the bent knee in the front. Drop your back hip down. Maybe you stay right here. Maybe you wanna go a little deeper and you come onto your front forearm and then recommit to that twist. Wherever you are, take a nice deep inhale in. 
you're looking for an edge, a nice deep stretch, stretch, but not ouch. If your body is feeling ouch, your body is asking you to back off. So find your edge, but not beyond it. Honor that your body needs exactly what it needs. Take one more deep breath in and exhale. Gently release your foot if you have it. Come back to low lunge. Frame your front foot with your hands. Tuck your back toes under. Lift your back knee up. Inhale here. Lengthen through your spine. Exhale. Step back to downward facing dog. Step your right foot back. Beautiful job. Reset. Recenter. Two breaths here. Come back to the beginning. Come back to you. Come back to your breath. Ground down through your hands and your feet. Inhale here. Come up to the balls of your feet. Exhale, send your heels down toward the mat. Inhale, right leg high. Lift it up, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge. Step your right leg through. Fan your back foot out 45 degrees. Bend into your right knee. Inhale, warrior two. Windmill your arms up. Come find your warrior two base. I'm gonna turn around so you can see my face. So bend into your front knee, your right knee, send the weight into the heel of your front foot. Align this knee, this front knee, with your second and third toe. So that might be involve rotating your front thigh out a little bit. Then open through your hips. Stamp down into the outer knife edge of your back foot and shine your hips and your heart toward the wide edge of your mat. Then extend your arms out, fingertips to either side. Gaze over your right fingertips. Nice big inhale here as you sink a little bit lower down into your warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Start to reach straight out in front of you. Hinge from your hips and then ex as you exhale, tick tock your arms down and up to six and 12, shine your heart out. Press your lower arm into your front thigh to open through your hips a little bit more. Root down into the heel of your front foot, outer knife edge of your back foot. Inhale, rise up, reverse triangle, straighten your front knee, swap your arms. Shift your front hip forward just ever so slightly to even your hip points. Reach up and over with your front arm, feeling a little side body stretch. One more big inhale here. Exhale, high plank to low plank, plant your palms. Option, spin your back foot in line with your front. Option to step straight back to downward facing dog or if you want a little more, stay in that plank and do a vinyasa. Come down into chaturanga, keep your elbows in as you lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog, shine your heart forward, hands back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful job, everyone. Nice big inhale here. Open mouth, exhale, side it out. Inhale, come to the balls of your feet, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do the other side. I'm coming back up to the top over here. You can stay right where you are at the top of your mat. Inhale, fingertips up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your palms, step your right foot back all the way back to the back of the mat. Drop your back knee down, untuck your toes. Use your hands to frame your front foot and we begin with that deep hip stretch. So do you pull your hands back as you draw your front knee forward, drop your right hip down toward the mat. And maybe you rock your hips a little bit side to side. Get nice and deep into the front of your psoas, your right hip muscle. Drop nice and deep down. Nice big inhale here. And as you exhale, shift your hips slightly back so your knee, front knee is aligned over your front ankle. Inhale, low crescent, rise up here. Once again, find your base before you add your arms. Tuck your tailbone down, lift your hip points up. Draw your abs in towards your spine. Feel that length growing through your spine. Root down into the heel of your front foot, knee of your back foot, inhale, arms up. And feel that nice big opening, that stretch. Rotate your armpits toward one another to accentuate the length in your spine. One more big inhale here. 
Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, tilt slightly forward, hinge from your front hip. Exhale, twist toward your bent knee in the front. Feel that twist centering from your belly button, from your navel. Perhaps your lower arm, your right elbow is hooking onto your front knee. Press your hands into each, into each other to accentuate your twist. Enjoy, enjoy one more big inhale here. And exhale, low lunge, untwist, bring your hands down to frame your front foot. And we'll come back into that deep, deep lunge coming into lizard twist. So draw your right hand to the center of the mat next to the inside of your front foot. Bring your left hand on top of your knee, so bent knee in the front. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, use your hand to press into your front thigh to twist your body toward the left. Feel that nice big opening through your spine as you drop your back hip down, straight down toward the mat. Maybe you remain right here and just enjoy this nice juicy twist. Or perhaps you bend your back knee. And use your your right your left hand to grab on to that foot pull the foot towards your bum and then shine your heart back out to the left and if that all feels great you can stay there or maybe you want a little bit deeper stretch and you drop down to your front forearm wherever you are find your breath Breathe into any tight nooks and crannies, any tight spots that need a little bit of extra love and attention. One more big inhale here. And exhale, gently release your back foot if you have it. Come back to low lunge. Frame your front foot with your hands. Tuck your toes under as you inhale, lift your back knee. Plant your palms squarely down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step your left foot back, lift your hips up. Reset, recenter here. Root down evenly into your hands. Send the energy up through your arms, through your spine. Extend your tailbone toward the ceiling. One more big inhale. Open mouth, exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> inhale, lift your left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your left leg through low lunge. Once again, fan your back foot out 45 degrees. Bend into your front knee, root down into both feet. Inhale, warrior two, windmill up. Beautiful, find your base here. Bend into your front knee, your left knee. Align your knee over your ankle. Open through your hips, stamp down into the outer knife edge of your back foot. Shine your hips and your heart out toward the wide edge of your mat. Extend your fingertips out to either end of your mat to open your heart even further. Gaze over your left fingertips. Inhale, sink a little lower. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach, reach out in front of you and then tick-tock your arms down and up. Shine your heart out. Twist from your belly center. Yes, you got it. Keep rooting down into both feet. That grounding down of your feet, that that constriction of your thighs will allow you to twist open, feel even lighter through your upper body. It's almost as if you can feel your top arm reaching up toward the ceiling effortlessly. Root down into both feet, inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg, swap your arms. Press your left arm now up toward the ceiling and then up and over, lengthen through both sides of your torso. Feel a little side body stretch on the left. One more big inhale here. And exhale, high plank to low plank. Plant your palms, spin your back foot in line with your front foot. Either step straight back to down dog or head through your vinyasa. Vinyasa, come to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Lower halfway down. Put them, pull your chest forward. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful job. Pedal your feet out just a little bit. You can come to stillness, pause here, just notice. We're halfway through class, that feeling as though we're in a transition, coming into a new place, opening up, moving forward. Inhale, come to the balls of your feet, bend your knees, look forward. 
Exhale, forward fold, step or hop. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up to mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. If you have a block, the next series we're gonna go into, we will actually do a little bit of a half moon situation. You might wanna have something for your hand to come on. And again, if you have a chair, something stable, no chairs with wheels, but if you have a chair arm or something you can put your hand on, we're gonna end up like this. So just have that steady or, or steady thing nearby. You could also have a block. Just have it ready and waiting for you and then make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Sink your hips back, bend your knees, shift the weight into your heels. Knit your abs in towards your spine. Tuck your tailbone under, lift your hip points up, shine your heart forward, lift your arms up. Your palms face toward one another. So strong, inhale here, sink a little bit lower. Exhale, stand up. Shake those legs out. We're gonna, we're gonna do that and transition into a crescent pose. So you're gonna get a little balance challenge. It's so ready, inhale. Chair pose, zipper up your thighs. Pretend you have a dolphin tail on. Shift the weight into your heels. Squeeze your thighs together, knit your abs in. Now start to shift the weight over into your left, or your right leg, sorry, right leg. Left leg starts to become weightless. Lift your left heel up off the ground. Inhale here. Exhale, sink a little bit lower. Inhale, one-legged mountain. Lift your left knee up high. Flex your left foot. Stand up. Knit your abs in to lengthen through your spine. Inhale here. Exhale, crescent pose. Kick your left foot back. Shine your heart forward. Maybe you pause for a moment in warrior three, just feeling that balance, that flying forward. Your hands could be out in front of you at heart center or maybe behind you. If you fall out of it, it's that fine. Keep your abs knitted in. Flex through both your feet. One more big inhale here if you're flying. Exhale, crescent pose, drop your back knee down. Just like we did not too long ago with the back knee down, we just happen to have the back knee up now. So bend into your front knee. Once again, see I'm kind of dumping into my spine. So to correct that, bend your back knee, tuck your tailbone under, lift up through your spine. And then when you find that length, Maybe straighten the back leg, maybe not. Maybe it stays bent today. Root into the heel of your front foot, ball of your back foot, and squeeze your thighs together to create that stability, that base. Then inhale, arms up. Beautiful job. Exhale, hands to heart. Center twist toward your right, your front knee. Just as we did before with the back knee down. If you want to bring your back knee to the ground, once again, if that feels more supportive, go for it. Keep rooting down into the heel of your front foot, ball of your back foot, twist from your belly center, press your hands into each other to accentuate your twist. Inhale here, so strong, exhale. Inhale, rise back up to crescent pose. Another balance challenge. Exhale, warrior two. So I'm gonna spin around so you can see my face. <clears throat> From here, straighten your front leg. Arms are still out. Gaze over your right fingertips. Shift the weight into the ball of your front foot. Inhale here. Exhale, triangle pose. Reach out in front of you, hinge from your hips. When you can reach no further out, then drop your front hand down. And shine your belly and your heart outward. Maybe this bottom hand is on your shin. Maybe it's on your thigh. Maybe it's on a block. Maybe it's on the ground. Wherever you are, find that opening through your belly, opening through your heart, and then your top arm might lift up. Beautiful. Allow for a slight bend in your front knee, just a little, little bend to keep it from hyperextending. Option to stay right here and enjoy this stretch or to move on into half moon. For half moon, shift your gaze down to the mat and your front toes, bend your front knee and start to move your weight into your front foot. Your back foot becomes weightless. Maybe you add that block in front of you. Your hand goes on the block. 
you lift up back onto your standing leg back leg lifts up flex through both your feet once again open your heart and your hips out extend both hands out or if you have a chair or a sofa you're doing the same thing but you're holding onto that chair or that sofa something to give you that leverage to feel that opening outward facing toward the side from here you can maintain this beautiful half moon pose or you can come into candy cane bend your lifted foot so now your knee is bent top arm is going to grab on to top foot and then you kick into that leg feel that opening that stretch through your front your top thigh and then recommit to that opening through your heart through your hips out to the side wherever you are find your breath breathe in focus on your grounding your hand and your foot that are touching the earth or the block or the couch one more big inhale here exhale gently release your foot make your way back up to standing bring your back leg down standing here and shake those legs out so strong so strong so beautiful so victorious and come back up to the top of your mat let's even ourselves out so inhale chair pose zipper up your thighs sink your hips back send the weight into your heels knit your abs in nice big inhale here as you shift the weight into your left foot lift your right heel up off the mat exhale inhale one legged mountain straight in your left leg lift your right knee up flex your right foot feel nice and tall it's as though you're just standing up straight you just happen to have one foot in the air one more big inhale here as you lengthen through your spine exhale kick your right foot back find your way to crescent pose maybe through warrior three kick your right foot back knit your abs in parallel your hips to the ground flex through your lifted leg rotate your pinky toe down this is just like that bird dog we did at the very beginning of class from tabletop we just happen to have a straightened leg one more big inhale here in the balance exhale crescent pose bring your back knee down back foot down rather sorry hands up and find your base once again make sure you're not dumping into your lower spine so tuck your hips under or tailbone under lift your hips up abs in lengthen go nice and tall as you sink your weight into the heel of your front foot ball of your back foot squeeze your thighs together inhale here arms up exhale twist bring your hands to heart center twist from your belly button toward that front knee drop your right elbow to hook onto your front thigh if it reaches if it feels more supportive to you drop your back knee down take care of you what do you need today keep zippering up your thighs take one more big inhale here one more big exhale twist even deeper root down into both your feet inhale rise back up crescent pose exhale warrior two open up beautiful job everyone inhale straighten your front leg maybe you shorten your stance just a little bit coming into triangle pose on the other side extend your fingers out to either end of your mat shift your weight into the ball of your front foot inhale here exhale ex um, extend forward hinge from your hips as you reach 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 out into what's happening that's going to be amazing in 2023 what is it look at it and then draw your left hand down right arm up heart out your bottom arm will find a solid base maybe on your shin maybe your thigh maybe a block what is going to allow you to find that opening through your heart opening through your hips the grounding down through both your feet so that you can lift up through your torso through your arm your top arm is reaching up toward the ceiling effortlessly maybe you stay right here perhaps you come 
into half moon. For half moon, gaze down at your front foot, bend your front knee, shift the weight into your front foot and lift up off the back foot. Try not to run into your bookshelf like me and then lift your back foot up, flex through your lifted leg to ignite your glute, your gluteus medius on the, on the right side, on the top side. It's gonna help lift your foot up higher and then shine your heart open once again. Option to stay right here and play in this balance or add the candy cane, bend one knee, grab on, bend the top knee, grab onto that foot with your top hand and then recommit to twisting open. Shine your heart open, shine your head open. Keep rooting down through your standing leg. Nice and strong, fire up that left outer left hip to guide you to strengthen you one more big inhale here so strong everyone and exhale gently release your foot if you have it step your back foot back rise back up <clears throat> you did it wide shake your legs out very strong so strong come to the wide edge of your mat here feet about hips width apart we're gonna do one more fun hip opener slash balance challenge. We're gonna do a standing figure four. So shift the weight. We just did a lot on our left, so we'll start with shifting the weight to your right. So as you root down into your right foot, feel your outer right hip engage, your glute engage, your thigh. All of this is fired up, nice and strong. Let's start to lift your left foot up. Find that mountain pose, one-legged mountain. Lift your left knee up, flex your left foot. Option to stay here or you can come into figure four. Now cross your ankle over the top knee. Start to send your left knee back down. Keep wrapping the stand, standing glute in. So strong, option to stay right here, bring hands to prayer. Maybe you start to bend your standing knee and sink your butt back as you lift your heart up like you're sitting in a chair with a crossed leg. Pro tip on balance. Put your gaze on something you know for sure is not gonna move. And focus it there. Focus your gaze, your dristy right there. Take one more big inhale. And as you exhale, rise back up, uncross your legs. Incredible balance. Oh, shake them out. <laughs> Getting deep into our strong legs and thighs is to make you strong enough to walk through anything in life, right at, on and off the mat. So now root into your left foot. Fire up your left glute, your left thigh. And inhale that one-legged mountain. Lift your right knee up high, flex your foot. Roll your shoulders back and down, knit your abs in. Option to stay right here or cross your ankle on top of your knee. Shift your knee down and out so you're feeling that opening through your hip. Bring your hands to prayer. Maybe you stay here or work your way into that chair. Sink your butt back. Root down into your standing foot. Feel your left glute, the standing glute, firing up your left hamstring, supporting you, holding you. Tighten your abs in towards your spine. Lift your chest up, so strong. Come back to your breath. Let it ground you, give you that focus. Know that you have it inside of you. So hold in this pose for just two more breaths. One more big inhale here. And as you exhale, come back to standing, back to center. You did it so strong, I'm proud of you. Shake those legs out. And then we will come down, we'll go through one more vinyasa or straight to downward facing dog if you don't wanna do any chaturanga push-ups. Come to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift your fingertips up, rise up. Shine your heart forward. Maybe you add a micro back bend here. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from your hips, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. 
Exhale, plant your palms. Option to step straight back to down dog or go through one last vinyasa. For the vinyasa, come forward in plank. Keep your elbows in, chaturanga, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Everyone from down dog, nice big inhale here. Open mouth, exhale, slide out. And make your way down to your knees. Find your tabletop once again. You can untuck your toes. And we'll come into melting our little heart opener from here. So shift your weight into your knees and the tops of your feet. Walk your hands forward slightly. Keep your hips lifted up and drop your heart down. It's like a child's pose, except your hips are up in the sky. Allow the forehead to come resting down on the mat and feel your heart sinking down in toward the mat. Nice little heart opener. Root your hands into the earth to lift your elbows off the mat and accentuate the dipping down of your heart. You can keep walking your fingertips forward to find more length through your spine, more length through your arms. As you root down into your hip, feel your hips dragging your body back to lengthen your spine from that end too. Feel your heart melting down. Nice big inhale here. Big exhale, side out. Feel that release, even bigger heart melting. And then gently walk your hands back towards your face, rise back up to tabletop and shift to your hip side of choice to roll onto your bum. You're gonna find <coughs> Don Dasana, your legs out in front of you. So spin around so that your feet are facing into the long edges of your mat. And then move your fl any flesh of your sit bones aside so you have a nice even grounding down of both of your sit bones. A little bend in your knees is just fine. Flex your feet. Inhale, lift your arms up, lengthen through your spine, grow nice and tall. Exhale, forward fold. Start to hinge from your hips. Feel as though you're reaching out and up, like I'm grabbing onto your hands and dragging you out forward as we pull your torso down. So you're draping over your thighs. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine once again. Exhale, maybe you fold a little bit deeper. Allow your hands to find a comfortable spot. Perhaps that is your thighs today. Perhaps it is your shins. Maybe it's your feet. Once again, we are looking for an edge, that nice intense stretch, but not painful. Each inhale is an opportunity to lengthen your spine. Each exhale is an opportunity to surrender a little deeper into your fold. One more inhale. And as you exhale, use your hands to walk your body back up your legs. Once again, we're going to come into that butterfly pose. So you may want to sit on a little cushion one more time. Bring the soles of your feet together, knees out wide. And take a moment to notice that this butterfly might feel a little different than the other butterfly. Root down through your sit bones, lengthen through your spine as you inhale, grow long. Bring your hands to your ankles or your feet. As you exhale, start to hinge forward. Allow your hands to assist you in pulling your chest down towards your feet. And it's totally fine if your knees are way up high, that's totally fine. Wherever they are, wherever you are, find your edge once again, feel that opening. It's our last deep hip opener of class. So use your breath to send that nice fresh, rich, oxygenated air into those little nooks and crannies that deserve a little extra love and attention today. One more big inhale. And as you exhale, lift your chest back up, straighten your spine, bring your hands to the outsides of your knees, close your legs like you're closing a book. 
<clears throat> and if you're sitting on a cushion, move off of your cushion. Bring your soles of your feet flat on the mat, bend your knees. Use your hands to shift your hips slightly forward. We're gonna roll down onto our backs. So maybe your hands are on your knees. Tuck your tailbone under, knit your abs in, find a rounding of your spine. Roll down nice and slow. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Down onto the mat. And find a neutral spine here so you shouldn't have too much of a lift through your lower spine. You want a nice, not completely smashed into the ground spine, but relatively flat, flat and smooth. And from here, draw your right knee into your chest. Give it a nice hug, a nice squeeze. Your left foot could stay on the mat or maybe you extend your left leg long if that feels okay. And then take your right knee, your knee that you're hugging in and draw it even closer into your armpit. Rotate your right ankle around. And as you give your right leg a nice little hug, a nice little squeeze. Give it some thanks for all it does for you every single day. It carries you around, walks you through life. Give it a little gratitude. Inhale, hug it in even tighter. Exhale, supine twist. Use your arms to draw your knee across your body. Heading towards the mat on the left side. Work on stacking your right hip over your left. And then maybe, just maybe, your right shoulder makes it back down to the mat. Maybe you can extend your arm out behind you. Maybe you look back to the right. And take a few nice deep, long breaths here. If you're still using your yogic breath, I invite you to release it now. Focus more on long and deep. Inhales and exhales, winding down, relaxing. One more breath in here. And then as you exhale, gently make your way back to center. Even out your spine here by placing both feet on the mat. Bend your knees. Shift your spine around so you find that neutral back once again. Not too much of a, a gap in your lower spine. And then <clears throat> this time draw your left knee in. Give your left knee a hug and a squeeze. Maybe your right foot stays on the mat with your knee bent, or perhaps you extend your right leg long. Feel a little hip opening through the front. And as you hug your left knee in towards your armpit, rotate your left foot. And begin to bring your awareness into your left leg. Give it a little thanks and a little love and appreciation for all it does for you every single day. One more big inhale as you hug your knee in. Exhale, supine twist. Gently draw your left knee across your body. And draw that knee down toward the mat. Stack your hips. Perhaps your shoulder, your left shoulder, makes its way back to the mat or it's heading in that direction today. Maybe you look back behind you. Maybe you extend your arm out. Breathe in here. Nice big exhale. One more big inhale here. And then as you exhale, gently, gently make your way back to center. Hug both knees into your chest. Tuck your nose in towards your knees. Give your whole body a squeeze. Squeeze everything and thank yourself for coming to yoga, for giving yourself an hour that is just for you because you are so worth it. And then inhale here, hug and squeeze everything. Your fingers, your ears, your toes, your eyes. And exhale, Shavasana. Resting pose, extend your hands, your legs out, your arms out. Find any wiggles that need to come out. Make your way into a relaxing, resting, melting down into the mat. Allow all your hard work to integrate into this most important Shavasana. I will mind the time and let you know when it is time to come back.
And if you have time and space to stay in your Shavasana, I invite you to do just that. Give yourself that time and that space. But if it is time for you to move on with the next adventure of your day, and begin to bring your awareness back to the space and start to allow deeper inhales and exhales to come into your body, into your lungs. Allow any little micro movements that feel supportive and good. Maybe you wiggle your fingers and your toes. Rotate your wrists and ankles around in a circle. Just awakening back into your body. And then letting that go. Extend your arms up, up overhead, stretch into amazing, wonderful, nobody like you in the world, you. One big inhale, feeling every inch of you expanding, awakening, and then letting that go. Bring your hands back down. And if it's in your practice, roll to your side of choice. Pause here for a breath or two. Keep your eyes closed. That Shavasana represents the end, the dying off, it's corpse pose. As we think of the season transition, this darkness, this pose, this lying on your side represents rebirth, the awakening into more sunlight in the next season. And so feeling into that new awakening, the natural transitions through life, through the seasons, appreciating all the different changes we go through Gently press yourself up to a seated position. Option to keep your eyes closed here. Bring your hands to heart center. And I invite you as we head into this solstice, into the rest of our busy holiday season, can you find that balance, honoring, taking those moments to find a little more grounding, a little more stillness, to balance out the chaos and the busy and the fun and the festive around. Or can you take a little more time to go inward, recognizing the beauty of the darkness as well as the awakening and the beauty of the light? And with that, my friends, I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. The teacher in me honors and thanks the teacher in you. Bring your hands, thumbs to third eye center. Inhale here. Exhale, namaste, bow forward. Thank you all so very much.